So we're going to find the density of pennies. By finding the density of a penny, we can determine what the metal it is made out of is. Different eras of the U.S. history has used different metals at the core of pennies, with a very thin copper coating on the outside. Enough that we can assume the penny is primarily the other metal. To do this, we're going to have to find some masses and some volumes of each penny. We're going to do this in groups of five. We're going to see what the increase in water volume is as we add the pennies. The displacement will raise the volume by the size of the pennies. We'll also just record the mass. We're going to do that first with some modern pennies, say the last 25 years. So we have a scale. We have a graduated cylinder with some water in it. That is right on the line at 20.0. And we're going to add our first five pennies. Catch that mass. We'll zoom in. We'll find some volume. Go ahead and pause at each of those data points. And write down in your lab document for each addition of five pennies what the mass and the volume is. Now that we've collected newer pennies, let's look at the masses and volumes for old pennies. Things ranging from 1970 to 1940. So now we have the masses and the volumes, we can take that data and we can find densities. And we can do this for small sample sizes and large sample sizes in order to see how the size of the sample affects our calculation. Go ahead and find the densities of the metals on the lab worksheet.